Alright guys, we're the Whiskey Couillons here for another review. This time we're doing Johnny Walker Green Label. This is uh, aged 15 years. It is a blended malt scotch whiskey. Um, it's a blend of Talisker, Linkwood, Cragenmore, and Kahila. Did I say that right? Oh yeah, Kahila. Kahila. Hmm. Right. Right. Blended malt hmm. scotch. That's different from... Uh, typical blended scotch. Yeah. So John, Johnny Walker Blue would be a typical blend. They have a little bit of grain in there, whereas this is just all single malts, man. All right. Which I don't know why they did. You put a green, you would think they would hold that up a little bit more, but I'm glad they don't because I'm sure it brings the price point a little lower, you know what I mean? To have all single malts in your repertoire of a bottle, then to have, you put a little grain in there. Yeah. I'm sure they add a good grain. I mean, it's Johnny Walker Blue. I'm sure they're adding a damn good, like, grain whiskey, grain scotch whiskey that's going to, like, amp up their bottle, right? I'm, I'm sure, sure it's fucking aged and all that. Probably older, but, man, I don't know. They have four fucking solid <laughs> single malts. Dude, Craig and Moore, Talisker, Kalila. Dude, come on, man. I, I, all right, I haven't had Craig and Moore, but Talisker, Kalila. All right. Beautiful, man. Yeah. I've only that's had a few stuff. different Johnny Walkers. I've had the... Red label it's at a point in time. I've had the black green. label. So you not a big fan of. There. Oh, uh, I got this one because I figured this was probably going to be the best expression that I would like. And I bought a mini bottle of blue because I am oh, not man. paying $240 for a Johnny Walker blue label. So, so I, I bought a mini bottle of it and I tried it and it's pretty good. But honestly, I'd probably take this green label, man. It's uh, more up my alley. <clears throat> it, uh... Yeah, I think I definitely go with the green. It's pretty label. good after it opens it up. And I mean, for the price difference, you, you can't go wrong. Yeah, you're looking at a, a, a roughly a $70 bottle compared to a $240, $50, a $40 yeah. bottle. Like, <laughs> $30, $240. I mean, it's going to be $240, yeah. $250 after tax. So. Right, dude. And and the uh, <clears throat> price point for quality, that didn't even come close. Yeah. You know what I mean? Between the green and the blue label, there's no way. Oh man, this stuff. That yeah, Blue dude. Hanger 7th edition that I got for $35 at Rouse's kicks Johnny Walker's blue, uh, blues ass all day long. It's heavily peated. Yeah. I like it. Definitely, you definitely smell the peated components right off the top. <clears throat> and I think that's more or less why I like it more than the blue. It's more. Isla, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some. Um, you can smell Kalila in there. Or you're the you're the uh, you're the Scott. Well, that Kalila man. That... You smell that right from the get go. <laughs> that, that's the only Isla whiskey in the group. But you also smell like Talos has got that brininess. You get that yeah. salt. Yeah. salt. I was gonna say salt, too. like almost like salt water. Yeah. But believe it or not, Craig and Moore uh, has that that taste too. It mm -hmm. has that uh, that flavor of like a, a brininess. It is peated. Although it's probably out of all of them, maybe Linkwood or Craig and Moore might be the unpeated ones. But Craig and Moore has like the very like a small bit of peat. You would only notice if he was tasting it next to an unpeated whiskey. Okay. And then you'd be like, oh damn, there's a peat. But if you're tasting that next to like a Kalila or a, a, a mm -hmm. Lafroig, no, you're not tasting the peat. We've Craig. all had Talisker. We've right. all had Kahila. We all had well, me and you had Craig and Moore. I don't yeah. think he has, but I've never had Linkwood. Linkwood's one of. Linkwood, they no, don't really say they sell it as a single malt, but it, we just don't get it in this area, and I rarely see it like online to pick up in order. Yeah. So, color is very pale, mm -hmm. and honestly, <laughs> typical Scotch. You know, but, um, picking the, what they have on there. Obviously, we haven't had Linkwood separately, but I've had the other three. Uh, it's a good blend, cool. man. They they are all very similar whiskeys. That's good. Thanks, ladies. Can the, you imagine uh, this sitting next to? Um, Fifteen. Sit next to a fifteen-year-old bourbon man with the color difference. Yeah, dude, you know, this would look like watered down water, man. Fifteen-year-old. I mean, when I opened it, I, I liked it, but I was like, eh. I find it's that. mellowed down a lot since you yeah. since you opened it. Like, trying to find a Johnny time, Walker yeah. that I like, and uh, it's like, yeah, it's, it's good, or so on like that. But man, since it's it's been open for a little while now, it's had a little time to open up. I was drinking a little bit last night, man. It's just, it's hitting right now. It's good. 
Sometimes you find them sweet spots in a bottle, man. You really do. And sometimes, even in your glass, if you sit, you, you have a port of whiskey and you set your glass down, you was, whether you're watching a movie, reading a book by yourself, just hanging out, just, you know, really no way paying attention to it. And you come back to it, you're like, what the fuck? And you realize at this point, in this bottle of life, you may have had like the best point in that bottle. <laughs> You know what I mean? That, that's that, that's as good as that whiskey's gonna taste. Even, even like, sometimes, as far as just a glass, like you walk off yeah. and you got any, like it's opened up to perfection yeah. in your glass at that point. You that's know? it. I was looking for the proof on this, but I can't find it. I don't know why. Oh, the uh, proof. I don't. I don't know. Oh, it's at the bottom. Ah, forty-three. Not bad. Very basic for uh, American Scotch whiskey. Looking at a uh, hmm. right at eighty-six. You know. You know, I watched a video the other day. And the guy was saying, oh, you're drinking your whiskey wrong. Says, uh, one of the reasons why that top's not as good as the bottom is because uh, you got all the wood tannins or whatever that sit down at the bottom that you... If if you have a good non show filter whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Not to necessarily shake your bottle, but, you know, Ooh, rotate it around or so on, get it mixed up. That way you get all that <laughs> hidden <laughs> debris that's... Their finger on the top. On the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking the shit out of it. So what you, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so you definitely a little aeration. Yeah, uh, definitely get the smoke from it. Yeah. Initially, man, that's the first thing you get. On the nose, absolutely. Even on the on the. You get a brininess. Ballot, yeah. I get brininess. I don't get definitely a ton get of smoke. I, Not I'm a ton honest, of smoke. Just a hint. I think it's it's perfectly subtle with the whiskey. Yeah, it's got a good balance to it. Uh, you can tell it's a balanced whiskey off top. Just smell it. You definitely get citrus in there too. With the brine, you get a citrus, a citrus uh, whether it be like maybe a little orange uh, zest in there. Well, yeah, I'm not getting too much citrus, but if I was going to say one, maybe orange. I wouldn't, not a lemon or anything like that. No, definitely like an orange zest. Just just the peel of it, you know what I mean? Not an actual orange, but lemon okay. zest with that brine. So kind of like a, a citrus that's almost tart. Yeah. yeah. That nose is, or uh, that palate rather is, uh, you could it hits Colila. Oh yeah, yeah, big time. And then, and then Talisker, uh, you can definitely still taste the brine. I do get a little lemon zest in the taste though. Just throwing this out there too again. Uh, this is another Bayou Side pickup. Man, bro, y'all, y'all, y'all buying. <laughs> They're definitely buying some stuff from Bayside, man. You're keeping uh, you yeah. keeping the bills paid. At this, at this point, we might need to buy a stock in there. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're Make some of my money back. <laughs> they're very local for me. Hmm. Flavor really like stuff, man. So the lemon comes in there with the smoke. Your brine is still in there, but it's yeah. kind of mixed with the lemon. I guess maybe one. I, I, I can almost see lemon, yeah. Uh, just, uh, I, just I was citrus thinking no a minute ago, but I kind of get it on the back end now. Yeah, with the citrus in the general. The finish, although, does fall off on this one. It's yeah. not it's not a big finish. No, no. Up I mean, front? Your flavor's all up front. All flavor. Great flavor up front. The the flavors drop off pretty quick, but uh, like right when you initially get it, smoke, it's brine. It's a and very it's, enjoyable sipper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's got a lot of uh, single malts in there, but I, I think that's where single malts shine is that um, you get those finishes, you get those follow throughs because it's a single malt whiskey. It's not blended with a lot of things, but for a blended whiskey, this is blended well. I find it's yeah. crazy how after a whiskey opens up, how much it changes and just how much better right. it is. So when I first tried this, I was like, yeah, I've never bought another bottle of this. Now I'm like, I'd get another bottle of this. You got a little air in there, man. Yeah. That's like Lafroy. The first time I had the Lafroy, I, mm. I was like, yeah. Mm. Mm. But man, when I got towards the end of that bottle, it was that Lafroy was so freaking good. The thing mm. with the blended single malts, right? Like for a good price point, yeah, all day. But the, like single malts nowadays are almost in the same range. You can pick up a damn good single malt for about seventy bucks. This is, I, mean? I think, I paid around sixty for this oh, bottle, okay. and I mean. There's yeah, a lot of scotches bad. you get out there that's on this level or better for sixty. I mean, but this is a, not a bad option. No, it's no, been no, a while since option. I had it, but I'm I'm gonna say like I think my favorite scotch note is obviously peat. Like 
I mean, some people have a medicinal medicine. Some people can't stand that iodine taste. I, I will love it. Yeah, everybody's got a preference, man. But this green label is definitely delivering on that, and you know, up front. But I mean, in the world of blended scotches, I, I, that Blue Hanger Seventh, man. That Blue Hanger's good. That man. stuff was. Oh, we yeah, have to review great. that. Great. That Blue Hanger's great. I we're, we're, not, we've got no we're not too chances. much in a rush on that one because we have <laughs> probably collectively probably beans. more than ten bottles yeah. of it. We probably, we probably have more than the place that we bought it from <laughs> between the three of us because we just kind of went crazy on buying those because they had such a good price. Yeah. But if this comes out at around 60, we will get Blue Hanger for half that price then. Yeah. And yeah, I think, so. I, I feel like Blue Hanger is a little bit better whiskey. But um, yeah. what they go for out, like in the market, I mean, they go um, for hundreds of dollars. Yeah, I've seen them for yeah. oh, about the, 130. The normal retail price on Blue Hanger is 130, I think. Right. And what we're picking them we up. We picked it up for 35. $35. It's a steal. Like, we're stealing these whiskeys from the place. Yeah. But they have much, like, even the Blue Hanger, like, I've noticed, like, uh, on blended single malt whiskeys, I don't know what it is to where if you mix these single malts together, they don't have much of a finish. The Blue Hanger finish drops off, too. Yeah, and they got some. We're going to review that one later, but I, it doesn't drop. You have a little bit more of a finish than this, but it's not much more. It's, it's They just don't have much of a finish. Yeah. You know? Not to say they're not enjoyable drinkers. I can drink a whiskey with no finish at all. I'll yeah, enjoy absolutely. all the flavors right up front. Right up, it I'll, makes I'll you just keep taking it. Yeah. good drinkers. Like. <laughs> it's like, ah, went away. The initial taste is great, and I'm going to keep having that initial taste over and exactly. over again. No, in the I'll world like, of Johnny Walker, I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever tried the, the black, but this is yeah. this is probably my favorite. Uh, the black so tastes far. like bark. Yeah, you can skip the Tree black bark. and just go to this one. You'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, I've had the blue, <laughs> the red, Actually, the green. I, I, I was, I, the black was a little enjoyable, but definitely skip the red. Yeah, we passed that. One. I've had the red twice. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, this though, like I, I, I like to drink my whiskey neat. I can drink this neat. I love it. It's great. So on like that. Some of the other ones are so on like that. You know, you're saying with like blend it and don't have a long finish. You get something that don't have a long finish. It's not that enjoyable. Throw it on the rocks. Drink it on a hot day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one right here, uh, you don't get much fruit from it. I don't get any fruit. Like, I don't you get no fruit. Get, I don't get any fruit at all. Maybe the little citrus bit, but... That's the only thing I get from it. A slight little citrus. Yeah. You get the brine, you get the smoke. I that's probably it. get more talisker out of it than anything. Yeah. With the uh, no, the salty cool. brininess, and then you get that, that peated bit. I'm assuming the co uh, Cohila. Like I said, I don't know the Linkwood. Cragamore is just a balanced, clean, easy drinking whiskey, and that might be where they get that from. So yeah, it kind of it might be I, like I, a that's, filler that adds the. Uh, I don't know where the Linkwoods at on that, fruit. but you know, that, that's the the three tastes I get out of it. That's generally those three whiskeys. I'm um, I'm close, but like reverse. I get uh, I get the Colila smoke up front and then the, the Talisker brine after. You know? Yeah, I got Talisker about mid palate, like initially yeah. just smoke. Exactly. And it, it went to a little brininess and then that lemon hit like at about the end and that was it. I mean, it it by mid palate, you mean like like mid breath because right. the palate lasts about as long as it takes to breathe out. <laughs> yeah, it's a very quick finish on that whiskey. Let me see. I don't really think about it. One last Damn good sipper, man. For Absolutely. what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely get a little bit of smoke on the nose. I get so much salt on the first bit of the taste. And then I get a little bit of the barley and the smoke and so on like that on the mid palate. Going that down on the finish. Out, man. Like, when we try but the finish does goes. fade fast. But yeah. that's that's all it was. Was was smoke? Yeah, not smoke. Um, no, brine. brine. Yeah. yeah, sea salt brine. Right. Yeah. You already do some reflecting. Yeah. What's your reflect. reflection? Uh, so for this uh, this uh, green single uh, single malt blend, I would definitely go. Uh, it's an easy three. You know, it's a. Uh, it could be a buy again if you're looking for a blended single malt. This not too many places to look. We got these blue hangers like for a steal. That doesn't come along often, and then you can't really think about that when it comes to the normal prices of stuff. That usually runs about a hundred bucks. 
This is around 60. So, will it, is it good enough to put up the extra 40? Eh, maybe so. But this one right here at 60 is not a bad whiskey. No. Uh, Open it, let it sit a little bit. Yeah. That's fucking fantastic. It's good whiskey. I definitely got a three on it though. That That's my go. What you got? I'm feeling, uh, I was feeling three too. Um, like spot on three. Um, I feel like it, it's great. It, it lacks a little bit in, in finish, which is, I mean, to me, that's pretty much the only spot it's, it's really missing. Me too, man. If it had it, if it, um, it followed through. Oh, God, yeah. Do. If, if I was... Maybe three, if two, I was, five, three fifty. If I was sitting here right now and I was breathing smoke like a dragon, yeah, you know, I would. That would definitely be a three five for yeah, me. You, you get some bumping up on that one. But that um, it, it just it's real short on the finish, and that's probably where it. it probably why I give it a three. But uh, everywhere else, I find it, it delivers pretty well. Yeah. What you got, Ron? What you got? I'm i uh, I'm gonna go three and a half, and the reason why I'm gonna say three and a half is because uh, it is a blended Scotch. And I'm looking at the price point for about 60 bucks or so on. What can I get that's better at that price point? And there's a couple that come to mind. But there's, I don't know, not more than five I can think of. I'm really, I got two in my mind. And uh, I don't necessarily want to say them off the top of my head or whatever. But those two, you know, definitely, I know one of them's kind of going up in price lately. I think that's just more the market at the time or the whole Corona market, but it, uh, for the price point and where you're at and trying to find a good scotch, I'm, I'm getting a three and a half. See, in our area, too, with pricing, too, like, this stuff is hit and miss, dude. But yeah, it's hit and miss everywhere. It's, but, yeah. like, like where, where we live at, well, there's there's two, not a lot of scotch drinkers, dude. The no. two I'm thinking of, Urban like... is fucking king in fucking Louisiana, <laughs> yeah. baby. I, I can get, I can get Ardbeg 10. In, in most places, it, it's it's like a, it's a trend, dude. People love that fucking American oak, new oak, brand new fucking new oak, caramel-influenced, high-potent fucking bourbon. It's good. It's America. It tastes like America. Well, well I'm, I'm thinking... Like too, yeah. well, Wrap yourself in American I can get Ardbeg 10 <laughs> for $55. Yeah. Uh... There's that Lager Woolen 9 that we've been able to get for about 35 That's kind of an odd rarity, that, too. Yeah, that's a, that's that usually goes for higher, too. Yeah, that would normally go for I don't know why these people are selling at this price, but... Yeah, we stole their bottles, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the one I was talking about I, would I be... $25 for Lafroy 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 10. a Lager Woolen 9. Yeah, dude. I, just <laughs> thought, I was just like this. Lafroy 10 <laughs> is... Uh, yeah, dude. Just take it. Normally, in a price tag, what, about 55 60 bucks. But lately, that one's kind of been going up Dude, there. I, I can go to town on bottles. I, would, I could buy it for six. Yeah. So, so that's three of them Scott, right there. That's your, that's your three trailer. of them that I would take <laughs> over this bottle. But after that, man, uh, I'm, I don't know. Bruna Haven. That what? Open Open fourteen. Open's about 14. or Open Little Bay. That's no. Dude, like that. Those prices. Some of the prices I got is I can't really speak on because it's online. Yeah. We're not getting that here. Uh, that open locally goes for about six to nine. We're in the same round though. Right. I would take that open over this, but it depends on the day because that open's unpeated. If I want peated. Yeah. Uh, it also depends on what you can find. I can promise you this. You're not finding you're probably it. Probably finding that. Yeah, you're gonna find yeah, you're gonna find uh, that all day. Some of these other things you, you can't find as easily. No. But See, this even, even buy more. You're not getting 15 for that price here. The 12 maybe, but that 12 will lax. Like between, you know, some places with an age difference, that 12 and that 15 Balmore, dude, huge difference. Really? Like I would say just don't worry about the Balmore 12. Go straight for that 15 Sherry Cavs. That's just me. Okay. But yeah, between the 12 and this, that'd be close. And they're roughly around the same price, 60 bucks. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. It's just yeah. definitely a good bottle. Well, that was right. the uh, the Kuyong Reflection. That's and uh, that was our review on Johnny Walker Green Label. That's it. Right. Y'all have a nice day. See y'all next time. Kuyong's out. Eventually.